I'm really starting to think that Alexis Vega needs to hire a PR manager because every time this man speaks to the media, he just makes himself less and less likable. I already did a video expressing my disappointment for Alexis Vega when he basically said he had no interest in going to Europe on a six month loan to prove himself when he has basically everything made for him already in Mexico. And now we got a situation yesterday where I guess it was Liga Mekis media day. I'm not really sure what was going on, but he's asked by a reporter if he would play for America, which has to be a setup question question like I will defend Vega in that respect like what kind of question is that it's like when they ask Tottenham players like would you play for Arsenal it's like you're supposed to say no even if the answer is yes that's kind of the point but instead Vega decides to answer that in an interesting way he says he would play for America but only if they were the only club that wanted him and then he makes a comparison between himself a professional footballer for Chivas to the reporter asking him the question. He says it's like if a different network wanted you to go be a reporter for them, you would go. Yes, both might be jobs at the end of the day when you boil it down to its very core, but what Alexis Vega is doing here is committing a grave sin by basically removing all religiosity, which might not be a word, spirituality, and emotional connection to the world of football. I guess according to Alexis Vega, working at Subway is the same thing as being Mexican national team manager. Who cares if you go from Subway to Jimmy John's, much like who gives a damn if somebody coaches Mexico and then goes to the United States? It's just a job. I don't think Alexis Vega realizes how dangerous what he is saying is. Do you realize if every football fan thought like this, that football wouldn't be a thing? The spectacle, the fandom, the mania around football would not exist if everybody looked at the game like this. You know what this reminds me of? This is a Carlos Vela quote right here. This is a, I play soccer to get paid. That's what this reeks of. And it is completely in line with what he said about going to Europe. It's so blatantly tone deaf for Alexis Vega to say, bro, I'm not even a Chivas fan. Like, I don't really care that much. I think the rivalry is sick. I'm gonna be watching the game later tonight so you can tell when I'm recording this video. Guys, I'm, I'm honestly in shock that a player playing for Chivas would say something this tone deaf. Like, does this guy not realize what he's saying? I think it is part of our job. I tell you that I don't go to America and an offer from America arrives and they no longer want me, they being Chivas. I have to be professional in every way. Well, this interview isn't very professional, mate. He should have said something like, I couldn't do that to the fans. I guess I'll just have to work harder until another team wants me. Or he could have completely deflected the question and been like, oh, my friend, you're describing a nightmare scenario for me. I hope I stay at Chivas the rest of my career. Even if that's not true and he doesn't have that intention, that's 10 times better than what he said here. If every footballer thought like this and every fan started to think like this, Guess what? Football, all of it, the culture around it is dying. Some people say it's dying now and I tend to disagree with people. I feel like I'm kind of a romantic around that stuff. But when I see quotes like this from players like Alexis Vega, I believe those people. Maybe football is dying. Maybe there's too much money in the game. And you know why there's too much money in the game? Because people don't just view it as a job, Alexis Vega. This is part of their life. This is part of their monthly, weekly, daily ritual. And for you to honestly insult that, by saying, yeah, I would just, yeah, I'd go to America. Why wouldn't I? It's a job. I got to feed my family as if this man ain't worth freaking 15 mil already. And of course, the backlash to this is crazy because why wouldn't it be? And then Alexis Vega tries to fix that by going on his Twitter or Instagram the next day and saying, Chivas hasta la muerte, like Chivas until death, kissing the bad. You can kiss it a hundred times, bro. It doesn't change what you said. Like again, how insulting to the fan base and to the intelligence of these people by thinking that you posting a picture or tweeting something is gonna negate what you said? Now it makes sense why this guy doesn't have the best field vision, because he obviously couldn't see how terrible of an idea it was to come out with this answer. I mean, really, bro, really, man. I like, I never really liked Alexis Vega. I appreciated him hustling. I thought he was one of the better players under Tata, maybe one of the few that improved under Tata, if you could call it that. You know, he was, he was playing well. And then you come out with some BS, some disasters, some fracasos of your own in the past three months. It's embarrassing, dude. It's embarrassing, man. I wonder if he's going to get booze in the Super Classico tonight. I wonder if he gets booze. Anyways, I just wanted to say this. This is, this is not a very serious video. I'm just dumbfounded. I'm honestly dumbfounded. You know when people post like fake quotes all the time? I thought that was that.
I thought this was a fake quote. Then I watched the video and I'm like, oh damn, he really said that. Lionel Messi doesn't say, I mean, if Real Madrid called me, I, of course I would go. Of course I would go. I mean, I need a job. I gotta feed my family. You must be completely out of touch and have zero awareness for what I would call the social responsibility that you have as a footballer to come out and say something like this, man. After the, after the disaster, have you learned nothing from the Wolves comments? I can't wait for part three of this series where a reporter asks Alexis Vega, do you wish you were born in California so that you could have played for the U.S.? And his response is going to be, I mean, look how good the U.S. team is. They beat us in the last Gold Cup. They, they made it to the round of 16 of Qatar. Why wouldn't I want to be a part of that project? At this point, I wouldn't put it past him.